Good evening, everyone. It's time for another Bedtime Stories. Today, I would like to read you one of the newer stories in our collection. We just got this book. I don't think anyone has checked it out yet. You will be the first people from our library to ever hear this story. It's a story about staying over at Grandpa's house. Have you ever slept over at someone else's house, not your regular house? Was it fun? It can be fun sometimes to switch up your old routine. Was it a little bit scary to be somewhere different, to have a whole new house making all sorts of weird noises? We don't want that to take away from our fun, do we? No. This is a book all about making all those weird noises go away. Sometimes it might help to make you feel more at home if you help to put the house to sleep. This book is called Time for Bed, Old House. It's by Janet Costa Bates, and it's illustrated by A.G. Ford. Time for Bed, Old House. You see, there goes, there goes, at least it was maybe Mom in the window. They're waving. Say goodbye. Isaac loved the new pajamas he got for his first sleepover at Grandpop's house. He loved laughing and playing with Grandpop, but he didn't love the thought of sleeping away from home. I'm not sleepy, Isaac said. And stay awake, Grandpop said. But it's time to put the house to bed. I never heard of putting a house to bed, said Isaac. Well, little buddy, said Grandpa, let me show you, you am there, how it's done. First, you move kind of quiet and slow. Grandpa took soft, slow steps across the room. Isaac took soft, slow steps behind him. Now, let's make it nice, dark, and cozy, Grandpa said, and he turned off the light. Click, click, click. What's that noise? asked Isaac. He reached for Grandpa's hand. It's just snuffles, Grandpa said. The old dog plodded across the floor with his nails clicking. Isaac gave Snuffles a pat. With Isaac and Snuffles following, Grandpa stepped softly down the hallway. He paused at the light switch and looked at Isaac. Isaac reached up and turned it off. Squeak, squeak, squeak. What's that noise? asked Isaac. Grandpa brought Isaac over to the window and pointed. The wind is blowing your swings back and forth, he said. Isaac could see them moving in the moonlight. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Now come on, sport, we're not done yet. Grandpa carefully pulled down the window shades. Looks like the house is closing its eyes to sleep, he said. asked Isaac. This old house makes sleepy sounds, just like you, said Grandpa. You yawn, you stretch. I bet you even snore. I don't think I snore, said Isaac. Grandpa shrugged. But if you're sleeping, how do you know? He chuckled loudly, then caught himself and put his hand over his mouth. Come on, little pal, Grandpa said softly. They tiptoed up the stairs. When Snuffles yawned a squeaky yawn, Grandpa put his finger to his lips and whispered, Shh, Snuffles, shh. They went into Mama's old bedroom. 
Time to read a bedtime story to the house, Grandpa said quietly to Isaac. I can't read yet, Isaac said quietly to Grandpa. I bet you can read the pictures. Grandpa settled himself into the big chair by the bed and held out a book to Isaac. Just tell me what you see on each page. Have you ever read a book like that? There are some books that don't even have any words on each page. You have to tell the pictures the story like that. Maybe I'll read one of them for you sometime. I could, I could think of a couple good nighttime wordless books. Maybe we'll try. Isaac climbed onto Grandpop's lap and described the first picture. A little boy is looking out the window. There's snow on the ground. Isaac turned the page. He's outside wearing a red jacket. Good job, said Grandpop. Keep going. Anybody know what book they're reading? I think I know what it is. We have several copies at our library. And if you like snowy books, books about snowy days, now will be the time to go before all the snow melts away. When Isaac finished reading the pictures in the book, he rested his head on Grandpa's shoulder. He could hear him breathing slow and steady. He looked up and saw that he had read Grandpa to sleep. Isaac carefully climbed off the chair. He covered Grandpa with a blanket. Then, taking soft, slow steps, Isaac walked over to the window. He gently closed the shade and whispered, Time for bed, old house. When the grandfather clock chimed from the hallway, Isaac put his finger to his lips. Shh, Mr. Clock, shh. Isaac settled himself into bed, picked up a book, and in a soft voice, read the pictures to bear. When he was done, quietly turned off the lamp. Click, click, click. He reached out to pet Snuffles. Squeak, squeak, squeak. He thought of the fun he and Bear would have on the swings tomorrow. Click, click, click. Tonight, he would sleep well in the old house. And if that old house could hear, then it, too, would have heard bedtime noises. Snore, says the dog Snuffles. Snore, says Grandpa. And look who else is snoring. It's the bear, isn't it? I think maybe Isaac does snore a little. The end. It's time for you to go get some snoring in. So get yourself up to bed, your old brush teeth all cuddled down into your bed. Say good night to your house. And then, good night. I'll see you next week. <laughs>